Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, my name's Andy. Uh, my, this is my channel, Finding Value. I'm gonna go over asymmetric bets, uh, what we see out there. Uh, there's a lot of really good opportunities that I think we need to capitalize on. Some of these I haven't started positions in yet. Uh, I've been looking at companies, trying to get the research uh, behind some of the companies that I'm looking at. I'm gonna share those companies with you with some other, um, I'm gonna call it base metals. Uh, they're they're going to be smaller companies. They're going to be more, more junior explorer type that are going to be eventually going into production, which I think we need to have a couple of these in our portfolio. So I'm going to first go over kind of what the asymmetric bet looks like. And then later, you know, follow on clips, I'll, I'll put that into how we're going to play it in terms of strategy. <clears throat> so we'll jump into uh, asymmetric bet update here. And the first slide is just gonna go over looking at possible investments. Uh, on the left-hand side, that's kind of the precious metals realm. I like the precious metals. It's a very low risk way to, to play this. Um, I consider platinum to be, you know, kind of let's buy platinum all aboard. It's at the dock, we're, we're, we're boarding up. Platinum has still not left the dock. <clears throat> so that's the one in the precious metals realm to look into, to start acquiring. Uh, the ratio, in terms of, of all the ratios, platinum is cheap to silver, palladium, rhodium, and gold. And whenever you have that, that scenario where it lines up like that, you just buy it. The, the future for platinum looks absolutely amazing. So I think platinum is a must in, in a portfolio right now. It's a must buy. Silver kind of just left the dock. We saw it pop up higher. It's starting to pull back. Uh, it's going to give you have that. It's going to have that one last great buying opportunity uh, very soon. If you still want to get into silver, and then gold, rhodium, and palladium, I consider to be they, they left the station. They're they're gone. Either the trains left or the boat has sailed away. However you want to say it, they're they're kind of already moving higher. On the right hand side, we have a bunch of base metals. Uh, we've got you know some oil and natural gas, uh, uranium, some energy. <clears throat> They're still just crossing. So they're just pulling up. This is an excellent opportunity to start buying uh, companies that produce uranium, nickel, copper, natural gas, and oil is still finding a bottom. And obviously natural gas and oil are tied together as when you pull it out of the ground, they kind of come out in a certain quantity of natural gas and oil in most of the wells. So I'm, I've been looking for nickel. I've been looking at copper. I've been looking at those opportunities and I'll get you a whole bunch of companies coming up in some other clips of how we can really capitalize on the next nickel, cobalt, copper boom that's coming um, with electric vehicles. So those are all, they're just all starting to, the 50 days are crossing, they're 200 days, they're all just starting to pull up. Lots of opportunities in all of the right hand side, you know, uranium, nickel, copper, natural gas and oil. So we're going to step into, I, I just want to share some information with the market balances of a lot of these metals. This is nickel. And nickel, you can see there's been a deficit for a while and inventory is just getting drawn down. So at some point, nickel prices are going to go a lot higher. You know, we've got a supply deficit expected to grow through 2025. This is a demand from EV battery requirements and LME inventory is below 300,000 tons. It's coming. So we got to prepare ourselves. We got to get invested. Got to find those companies that, that produce nickel that are smaller in size that can really grow our portfolio. Next, uh, we've got uranium. And right now we're kind of at an inflection point in 2020. You know, small little deficit coming up. Uh, it might be 20 million pounds. It depends who you talk to. It depends on the articles that you read. The, the important thing is that deficit going forward uh, past 2020 is really growing and it grows into, we'll call it deficit strength. So I think we need to start picking up those uranium companies. Great time to do it now. Uh, you can look at my other market updates on uranium and the companies that I own and, and what I think is a good buy. These should be, these should be populating your portfolio uh, here and there as you cost average in. You don't have to buy everything at once. Just pick some up when it's cheap. If it looks a little cheaper, just keep buying, picking them off. Keep adding to the portfolio because this deficit gets pretty large pretty quick, and I think prices are gonna are gonna increase, you know, pretty soon. 
Uh, this is platinum group metals. Now, you know, keep keep in mind this is ten year increments here, so this is this is looking way out. But the demand is literally vertical. I mean, whenever you have an, a situation like this, and platinum group metals are very difficult uh, to extract from the earth. It's very difficult to increase supply of these. So whenever you have a platinum group metal demand that looks like this, and they're that hard to extract, and there isn't that much above ground in terms of inventory. I think this is setting up for a very large move, very large. And that's why I have a lot of physical uh, platinum because platinum is one of the PGM metals that has insane demand coming up. And this is the supply side. Um, they've got estimates of, of it going down, not higher. And we're kind of at that inflection point where we're right at that supply demand kind of balance and we're coming up to that being almost a neutral balance. And then eventually it's gonna go into deficit and then into chronic deficit after a few years. So I think that's one to, to position on. This is the, the platinum price, just looking at price alone. Uh, we've got two massive flag patterns coming up, just massive. And whenever you have massive, I mean, this is many, many years across. When this thing breaks, you can tell how, how fast it, it pulled up I mean, just an absolute rocket ship sh moonshot, pulled back and then gone. I don't know if it's gonna have the same signature as this, but when, when this goes higher, when these break out of these big patterns, the, it's, it, this is gonna move quite a bit and I think it's gonna move quite fast. Uh, and then we run into chronic deficit, which means it's gonna continue to go higher and higher and higher, just like palladium and, and rhodium. Here's, a, here's kind of a snapshot of the current platinum uh, landscape. Now, this isn't looking very, very solid to me. I mean, we've got, you know, it was going up in an uptrend, it broke to the downside, and now we're kind of breaking down here. I don't know if it's going to pull back up or if it's going to head lower, but if this heads lower, I mean, we've got incredible, incredible buying opportunities uh, because the, the higher cost producers, their break even points up here. You know, it's in the 1200 range, 1200. 1100, 1300, it's all up here. We're buying below the higher cost producer mines. Whenever you have a scenario like that, uh, you just buy the metal and you just load up. You just cost average in. You can cost average in now. I've been buying it. Uh, I was trying to buy it down. I think I bought it down here or down here. No, it was right here. Somewhere in here I bought it. And I'm gonna keep looking at it because if, if this thing breaks down a little more, I'm gonna just keep buying. I'm gonna cost average in, get my, my physical platinum, uh, we know it's extremely cheap in relationship to all the other metals. That's kind of a no-brainer there. Here's the copper supply demand. And look at 2020. We're right there at this inflection point where the deficit starts to grow. So we got to get some copper, copper producers in our, in our portfolio. We need to get diversified here because the opportunities are so large with cobalt, nickel, copper, uh, silver, platinum. There's just so many opportunities uh, when this... You know, we're at the bottom of a commodities cycle. We can pick all this up and all these deficits are coming, which means it's going to be a very large commodities boom. Here's a silver shortage. They project in by 2020. We're in 2020, but I know this, they, they, I think this was a while back. They were saying a deficit uh, was of, of inventory above ground silver was going to go negative in, in 2020. Um, I don't know if that's actually happening. I, I think it is because the price has shot up. Uh, if we look at silver demand go, kind of going forward from 2020, it is absolutely <laughs> insane how fast this is going to go. I mean, 50 million ounces is, this is 2018, it's gonna double by you know a little after 20, 2032 uh, in million, millions of ounces in just automotive. And that's, that's pretty crazy. Another thing, here's, demand surge of, of a whole bunch of different metals here. Uh, global metals and materials demand and projected demand from EV, electric vehicle, lithium ion batteries. Uh, if you look, graphite, nickel, aluminum, copper, lithium, cobalt, and manganese, any of these, any of these are gonna be great investments going forward. Just absolute massive demand explosion on all of them. So we've got all these opportunities. They're all sitting there right in front of us. All we have to do is pick up piles of cash on the ground because the, the opportunities, I think, are so large. They are so large. Um, we see the overall market in terms of stocks 
like technology and all that, we see them kind of rolling over. We're seeing them getting, getting tired. Uh, are they going to roll over? Is this an absolute top? I'm not 100% sure, uh, but the charts definitely look like they're getting tired. Uh, we've got these guys. We know the deficits are out there. We know the demands out there. We know government. I mean, they always go full stupid. So they're going to probably say, we're going to do EV vehicles 100% from here on out, and they're going to do all this crazy stuff. Um, so if they, go, if they go full stupid, a lot of these things will protect you. Uh, then you've got the physical metals. If you get the physical metal like platinum, uh, you're protected, I think, from all accounts. You're protected from tax, you know, ta higher taxes. You're protected from any sort of business risk, uh, the risks from countries nationalizing things. Uh, you're protected from monetary problems if they want to do, you know, if they want to go, you know, full on stupid. If they just want to start printing like hell and do this whole green energy thing, I'm not anti-green energy, but to print trillions of dollars to do it, that's probably a little bit excessive. The physical portion. You can put a whole bunch of money in there. It's very low risk, and you're protected with a bunch of upside potential uh, in platinum. That's that's what I like, and that's where I put a lot of my money because it's super easy to make money. I don't think I've ever lost in a physical um, a physical precious metal bet when you buy below the mining cost. I just I have not lost. So I think that I, I like that aspect of it. Uh, I think you should like that aspect of it, uh, and and. If you guys have any other opportunities that you see out there in terms of, of commodities, put them in the comments section. I've been looking over a lot of stuff. I'm going to release a whole bunch of more of, of companies and how we could play this. Uh, I found a couple small ones uh, just, just tooling around, trying to look you know, through the internet on nickel, cobalt, copper, and some platinum group metals. There's a company that has all of it that's really small up in Canada. I, I'll, I'll release it here shortly. Um, so lots of opportunity. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release some more clips. And if you guys have any other suggestions, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs up button if you like this content. Thank you.